everybody we're out here today uh it's saturday i'm kind of in the sun it's bright out here <laughs> um so uh megan and piper playing some cards and let's see if i put my back to it it's still bright out here um they're playing some cards so i figured i'd run out in the yard i've been working on this 86 chevy pickup or whatever 87 um a little short bed four wheel drive and i got new grill in for it but i need to get the screws and i need to get a piece of chrome for it so i figured i'd take you guys along and we'd go out and wander around the yard in the truck and see if we can't find the pieces and parts we're going to need to at least put the grill and headlight doors in it this is the truck i've been tinkering with i got it quite a while ago um isn't the bed i had on it and this bed needs some work but the other bed I put on the little short bed truck with the LS in it, so I don't know if I'll leave this bed on it or not. But it's not a bad truck, it's got the fuel injected uh, TBI 350 in it. As you can see, it definitely needs grill and headlights or headlight doors. I think it'd look a lot better. It's got some dinged up chrome right here, so might try and find a piece of chrome for it. I guess the chrome has a few dings all the way across, but find a piece, a couple pieces of chrome for it, the side pieces, and maybe see about putting this thing back together, make it look a little better. All right, we'll see about starting this thing up. It usually is a little cold blooded. I don't know if it's just cause it sat for so long or what, but. As you can see, the truck runs pretty good. I don't know what work's been done to it. I don't really know much about the truck other than I got it from a friend of mine and it's a project. It's a good start though, it's solid. Um, I guess we'll have to see. It, it needs a whole bunch of little stuff and it needs a paint job and stuff. But other than that, I think it'll be a good truck to play around with. And I like these square bodies. We've built about a million of them. Um, this one I'm keeping for me. So it'll be fun. I used to have one of these when I first got together with Megan. And we first had Chevelle. And drove it around for years. And yeah, they're good trucks. I like them. And so we're going to do a little work to this today. So if memory serves, I think there is some sort of Torx screws that hold the headlight doors in. Um, and then there is um, some nuts that hold the chrome on. I don't remember what size they are. Uh, I think they're probably, depending on the year of the truck too, could be something like a 10 millimeter or something or a 3 8 or 7 16 so I think we're just going to do the responsible thing and grab a crescent wrench so that way we don't miss the sizes and see how that works <laughs> probably grab a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver too just to take with let's see here I've got a small crescent wrench there is 3 8 and 7 16 wrench just because it was handy on the bench there. Um, grab my fancy ratchet. I don't think it's going to be able to get in there. Matter of fact, I don't think it will. I think I'll grab that one. I have a 3 8 ratchet on me. Um, and I go grab this socket set. It's not a complete socket set, but it's most of them. So we'll try that and see what we can find. I need the screws out of the headlight doors. I need the screws out of the grill. I need some park light lenses. Um, and probably some pieces of chrome. So basically, we get to take apart all the stuff I need to put in. 
kind of surgy too since we started to back up. I don't know if it's that air or idle air intake valve or what's going on with it, but it's just kind of surgy. It'd be my guess it's that idle air intake valve. But, man, it runs pretty good for right now. I'll deal with tuning it up and making it better. Once we, once we get a little room in the shop. So let's go look around the yard for a candidate to take the grill out of. since they're in the grill, they are the same as what's in the vans at the same year range as well. Let's see what this thing looks like. That doesn't look too bad for the chrome pieces. Be able to get them pretty easy. Side pieces are good. Yes, like three eighths screws back in there. So we'll see what we can do. They just have these stupid nuts on them. I've got a few more tools up here and I'll show you what I had going. So this little clip when I was trying to or the yeah clip. See it just the, the bolt turns and not the, the clips bent and busted away from the stud. So I'm gonna have to deal with that. Um, this is a little bit bent right here. So I'm gonna have to straighten that out a little bit. And then I'll show you the two pieces of chrome where it got damaged to. So as you can see, these are the two pieces of chrome. The one's a, the one on the right is a good one. The one on the left is a bad one. And as you can see, they're definitely not very straight with each other and fairly bent up. And so we're gonna work on getting out this clip here and replacing it with one of the ones I took off the other truck or Suburban, and then just do a little straightening out with probably a pair of pliers on this right here just to get it straight. And we'll see about putting it in. So the way these work is the park lights or marker lights, these lights that hide behind the grill here, they're the same for vans and Chevy and GMC pickups of these years. Uh, the earlier ones had them in the front bumper. This grill has had a rough life. Uh, it's bent up, broken, everything else. So I think I'm going to take the GMC emblem off. We'll put it in an inventory, kick it over to our eBay store. But really what we're interested in are these, these marker lights so we can put them in the new grill I got. Thank you. 
They just got them really coarse threaded sheet metal type nuts, um, 9 16 The chrome was held on with 3 8 uh, sized really coarse nuts. And as you can see, this grill is pretty rotted, so it just uh, basically broke the, the tab off where the nut goes on. See, so it just just broke it off. Um, that's kind of what you run into with these. That plastic is so brittle that it just crumbles when you touch it. That's okay. We're not worried about that GMC grill anyways. Same thing with this one. It just snaps the tab right off. That's what you run into with this old stuff. Um, even if it was a if it was a good grill, I'd leave it in there. But since it's not a good grill, you know, it doesn't really matter if I break them off. We really only need the, the marker lights, anyways. The other thing about them is they are labeled on the back side here. This one says right hand, so it's the passenger side. everything fits in there it will I'll just tuck it back there until we get ready to put the grill in I anticipate this side doing the same thing as the other side and it's exactly what it is. noticed or I heard well for a long time you couldn't find GMC grills so I was really particular about keeping just about anything that could be savable I've noticed that I think they're starting to make GMC reproduction grills now um, which is good I have a decent looking GMC grill in the little short bed with the LS and it's the same kind of deal it's just a driver as well if I have something too nice then I don't ever end up driving it since they are plastic and these nuts like to strip out about everything I keep a little light downward pressure on it to make sure the nuts are unscrewing as they should because they will just cut a groove in there and then not unscrew so there's that grill it's junk we're gonna throw it away so now I got the GMC I think we'll keep we might keep these clips out of this piece of chrome it's always that stupid little stuff that you can't find or need to find or don't have. So, I make sure to keep all this stuff. We'll end up bagging it, tagging it, and that way we know what it is. And if I ever need one, or if one of you guys ever needs one, we can get into our inventory and get it out of there for you. Cool. Well, I will label these and we'll get them set for inventory. I was looking around in here when I got in. I need to see about a shifter knob for that four wheel drive shifter as well. So we'll go down and see about what's in that Suburban we can find. All right, we're back down in the lower lot. We're gonna go over here to this Suburban, see if there's anything useful in there. I guess I could probably take the marker lights out of it. We can see what they look like. This one had some ones that were painted black or something. They're definitely Torx. My guess is it's gonna be the same size Torx as what's in the, or what's gonna be for the grill too. Transmission still in it and your fender it's gone. See no screws or nothing kicking around. I know the guy that parted this out. He's got a damn good attention to detail. So I 
definitely use a lower filler for the steering column as well but I want to like to find it white just because that's what's the, there so that's a good headlight door left hand Oh, there new ones in, so they should be all right. Not sure why somebody spent the time taking the inner fenders out of this thing, but whatever. They really did strip this thing down a whole bunch. There's kick panel screws. Panels. Those are all going to be Phillips, I bet. They are. Looks like that's all interior stuff. That's a shifter. There's a shifter boot. Or the shifter knob for the four wheel drive is in here, maybe. it is that's it right there cool well that's one thing I guess a little overkill to use a ratchet on that but that's what I got Yeah, if you look at it, it's got some stress cracking in here, but I think it'll work. In my humble opinion, I would not put Torx bolts or screws or anything else on anything that was going to be tighter than hand tight. Because <laughs> anything more than that, and they're worthless. All right, we're back out here in the yard again. We're over here in the Suburban and Blazer and that sort of stuff row. And I think between yeah, the Suburban down there and the Blazer here, we should be able to get enough screws to do exactly what we need. So we'll get pulling screws. find a battery clamp and some more assorted black screws they don't work good on the chrome grills but I'm gonna keep them just in case here's my bounty of bolts and screws we got and this is why we always keep track of screws when we pull stuff and do that sort of deal is because these are all grill screws or bolts I guess you call them these are for the headlight doors I'm not sure what they don't them are park light or marker light ones this one's a little longer I don't know what it's for for sure it's probably interior or something uh, those are ones for the park lights to the grill. That's a battery hold down clamp. Those are uh, fuel pump bolts. They go to the block. 
And then these are black uh, screws that look like they're probably marker light or something to that effect. Yeah, for the non chrome ringed uh, marker lights. Hey everybody, uh, I'm back. I'm uh, just gonna do a little wrap up video for this uh, grill project I got going in the square body. It has been, no matter how hard you try sometimes, like you can't accomplish something. Um, I pulled a bunch more grills, like three of them out of the yard. Um, and basically, all of them were so brittle, they just crumbled. The ones that looked good, they ended up being so brittle. So I ended up having to order another grill. And I'm waiting for that to be here. It should be here next week. But I figured I'd wrap up this video, kick it over there. It's kind of a video of, like, exercise and futility. I gave it a heck of a shot. And worked my butt off. I got everything in line. I found all the little pieces and all the little screws and all the stupid stuff. And that's kind of what I wanted to show for this video anyways is... Um, kind of the hassle it is rounding up all the stupid small things the screws the bolts the you know the trim pieces you know that sort of stuff it's the, th it's the stuff that nobody really looks at when you're building a vehicle is you know all the little stuff that goes into it all the stuff that takes a ton of time i mean I, you know you can assemble a motor in in you know less than eight hours but tracking down screws and bolts and stuff for a grill takes a long time and then if you order stuff and it's not right or sometimes you order it and it is right but basically i guess the moral of the story is you can try real hard and sometimes you still don't win but we will win again and we'll go at it again um talking to callie i guess her friends say i should refer to you guys as liggett fam um it doesn't bother me i kind of like it um but it might be more something like auto recyclers fam or something like that um I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Got to decide whether I, you know, really like saying it and you guys really like hearing it more than anything else. Um, but regardless, neither here nor there. Tried real hard. Didn't get a whole lot accomplished, at least, you know, in obvious stuff. But it's something to see, and I think we'll kick it up there, and then when the grill comes in, I'll do an actual one of installing the grill. So until then, thank you guys for watching.